Tesla is actually up right now about 1.45% and it seems that Tesla has found a bottom. We're going to be going over why I think short term we're probably going to see Tesla push up. We're going to go over the current positions that I'm holding and we're going to be talking about if I think this is a good time to be buying Tesla for the next couple of weeks. Now, the two programs that we're going to be using is TradingView, which is this chart software that you see right here. And then the second one is going to be TrendSpider, which I use mainly for my trading bots. But both of them have a lot of features and a lot of great information that I want to show you guys today. Now, the indicators we're running first on TrendSpider TradingView is going to be Smart Money Concepts by Lux Algo and Market Bias. The settings that I have for market bias is 1077, and then Lux Algo is the default settings, but I turn on the EQ and the discount. And I have full videos that will be coming over on our website, THT Community, within the next couple of days. So looking at this, the first thing that we have to notice is that short-term Tesla is in a downtrend, okay? What the market bias is going to show you is when we are double red, like you can see here, that we have very aggressive selling pressure or we are in what's called an expansion. So you can see how we are consolidating back here. This double red is showing a potential expansion. And then while we stay red, it's showing us the general trend. Now, like any indicator, we don't take any positions based off of one thing. So we don't just go long when it turns green and go red when it goes short. Instead, we have to be watching and what price action is doing at the time. So we saw, and if you guys remember, we were talking about this potential gap fill back up to $208. And we ended up closing out our position around here, our initial calls, when we started to see equal highs being created on the one hour. You can see there was also a head and shoulders that was forming here on the one hour. And once we broke this support level of $200, this is where that aggressive selling started to really ramping up. And if we go back to turn market bias on, you're going to see that we would not be trading anything here until we actually got the break. Now, for those of you who are looking for a short-term bottom, there's a couple of things to notice. I have a lot of students who get very frazzled when it comes to drawing any type of Fibonacci. And so what's cool about the Lux Algo is that it will actually just take that range and plot it for you. So from this swing high down to this swing low, what you're going to notice is obviously down here is a discounted zone. Once again, we don't just buy. It just means that within this range, we're in a discounted area and that equilibrium or basically the middle, just a fancy way of saying middle of the range is up here around $190. And so in most cases, we're going to continue these types of trends every single week, every single day. And if we look on the daily chart as well, and we pop the market bias back up, even though we're coming into a support trend is still to the downside. Now, I actually think that this could be not the bottom, but I do think that we could see a test of 200 again. But as always, we have to be trading what's in front of us. And so looking at this, we have equal lows, once again, that are forming here, double equal lows, which indicates a very strong low, just like these double equal highs indicated a very strong high. And now it seems that as long as we can push through this order block tomorrow of $182, that we should easily see this push back up to $190. Now, do I think that Tesla's going to completely recover? That's not what we're looking for here, right? We're not looking for that. We're looking for at least a push back up to EQ or equilibrium or best bet up to $196. Because if we actually take this level, in most cases, we will recover back up to 194 before poten uh, potentially testing this move back down. And these types of structures, this happens all the time. You can see right here, I don't have this drawn out, but once again, we get this push up, we get this pull back down to Fibonacci, and then we bounce. Same thing with that, that structure before and that wave before. We get this push up, pull back down to Fibonacci 0.618, and we get the continued rally. Now, the fact that this broke, this level here of $200 slash $198 is very important because now we have a much bigger change in market structure. We're not continuing this move up anymore. Now, this is something to a lot of people who you're not full-time traders or anything, this might be a bit much, but I want you to understand the psychology of it. If every single time we're moving up this support level and we're we're bouncing on these fibs 
And every single time we pull back, besides this time we break, well, guess what? <clears throat> now this trend is broken and we start doing it to the downside. So we take Fibonacci's from swing high, like we just did up here, down to swing lows. And boom, from that point on, now we know that there's a very high chance we're going to bounce back up to 190. And especially when we make that equal low down here, which is where I would love to get in, that's our best entry. <clears throat> so this equal low, entering at 176, taking profit up at equilibrium at least, and setting a stop, lo stop loss on lower low, that right there is a 3.4 RVR. Even up to 0.618 is about a 10% upside about two and a half percent downside. So if we can get a sell off right now, it's 330. By the time this gets out to you, it'll probably be about seven or 730. I might look to go long. I currently have cash secured puts that I sold at $180 um, and I'm going to be holding on to those for sure. So in a perfect world, I would love to see Tesla pull back into close, enter long with some calls at like 178, take profit up around 190 to 193. And that's how I'd be looking to play this out over the next couple of days. Now, Let's zoom out and just look at the daily chart, okay? Because the daily chart, we're still in a downtrend, like we've been saying. But we have this massive bullish order block from back here at 175. So in most cases, what will happen is as we sell off, all of the buyers who wanted to get into their positions initially when they weren't able to, I think I have a marker somewhere around here. All right, whatever, I'll just draw it with a circle. All the buyers who wanted to get in here last time Tesla was trading at 175 were unable to get in at 175. And so instead they're buying in now, all these orders are filling. And I think that there's a chance we could test that $200 level like we were saying before. So from a longer term perspective, I think that this is honestly a really good time to be opening up some leaps, setting a stop loss down at about 167 and a take profit on the longer time frame back up at 210 to maybe even $240. So I hope this helps guys. If you want access to all my trades and if you just want to take our free courses too, go to our uh, website, thtcommunity.com. You can just scroll down from the homepage to get access to our free courses. And if you want to trade with me every day, you get access to all of my trading bots as well as much, much more. You just go to plans and pricing and you guys can sign up for our discord community and get access to all the awesome stuff that comes with it. Thank you for all your support. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.